Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of Campbelltown Lock. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of Campbelltown Lock. Campbelltown Lock is a blended malt whiskey from Springbank, but the whiskey itself is the five malt whiskies from the three Campbelltown distilleries. They are Springbank, Hazelburn, Long Row, Kilkerran and Glen Scotia. The whiskies themselves are aged in ex-bourbon and ex-sherry casks and they're then vatted together. It's bottled at 46% ABV and is non-chill filtered and retails for £40 in the UK. Should we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. So before I start nosing and tasting, let's have a quick look at the colour. I'd say that is like an auburn. Let's start with the nose. Right, so the first thing I get with this is it's quite sweet. I'm getting like boiled sweets. I'm getting some diesel. There's some like honey, like heather honey. It's slightly earthy. There's some malt in there as well. I'm also getting some charred oak. And I think the sherry's given a hint of sulphur. There's also a black tea note. Slight waxiness like crayons. And I'm also getting some fruitiness like raisins. Let's move on to the palette. Yeah, so the first thing I get with this is like malted barley. There's definitely a, a malted cereal note that's coming through. There's then the fruitiness, like the soaked raisins, like sherry soaked raisins. It's that sort of flavour that's really quite nice. There's some barrel char, like charred oak. Definitely, uh, definitely quite noticeable on the palate, that one. And there's also the um, petrochemical, like diesel oil note. That sort of Campbelltown funk is, uh, yeah, definitely uh, present in this one. Let's have another sip. There's definitely some smoke coming through. It's like wood smoke for me. And um, yeah, it's a little bit wafty. It's, um, it's not too dominant on this, but it is quite nice. There's some red fruits like berries that sort of sit on the palate. And that waxiness is coming through. I'm getting that sort of crayon note on the palate like it did on the nose. And there's also like a, a dry sort of wood tanning tannins that's um, that's sort of drying my mouth slightly. Let's have one final sip. Yeah, there's a, there's an oiliness to this, which is quite nice. Definitely um, gives a sort of oily texture on the palate. But coming through next is like fruit cake. There's definitely like, um, Reminding me a little bit of Christmas cake. There's also a slightly perfumey note, reminds me of like sandalwood. And um, there's also, there's also like barbecue pineapple that I'm getting with this, which is, uh, which is really nice. In terms of finish, I'd say it's sort of medium length. There's some dry wood. There's that wood smoke sort of lingering. There's a little bit of sort of spiciness like chili pepper and it's slightly tannic obviously the sherry doing that and there's the fruity sort of raisin note that lingers in terms of value well as i said this retails for 40 pounds in the uk and i think this is as far as i can tell an incredibly popular dram it's the sort of whiskey that does sell out but it's not it's not the sort of whiskey that sells out instantly. It's not as soon as it's available, it's gone. But I actually found this on sale uh, online recently and it was £30 a bottle plus delivery. So for some reason, you know, that, that particular uh, retailer had some left. And for whatever reason, they, they put it on sale. So I was more than happy to snap it up. 
this particular whiskey is obviously um, it's obviously from the Springbank name. Um, people are going to snap it up, especially when there is a lack of normal Springbank bottlings. And it does have that sort of DNA, uh, which is obviously ever present in great Campbelltown whiskies. This particular whiskey, I think, is a little bit young. It's, um, I'd say, it's quite bright. Um, the youth is noticeable on this dram, but I don't think that's going to put me off, and I'm sure it doesn't put many others off. I think the sherry component has, has sort of rounded it off reasonably nicely, and um, yeah, it's definitely a very drinkable and pleasant dram. If you've tried this or any other batches of Camelton Lock, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you liked it or not a fan, then please share. And if there's any other blended malts that you think I should try, uh, that you know you think I might like, then let me know in the comments as well. I'm always looking for suggestions. Hopefully you found this interesting, and I'll see you again soon. Sauncha. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment, and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.